today. Daniel is working on fixing a slight algae problem in one of his little shrimp tanks. to creative pet keeping in today's video daniel is going to maintain and try to save and fix his shrimp tank he's been doing water changes he's been feeding the shrimp but he's kind of let this algae problem progress this tank and this tank are both daniel's tanks he is a brand new beginner uh shrimp keeper or in general fish keeper today i told him you know it's gotta happen we've turned off the lights for a few days and now he's slowly starting to get rid of some of the algae over here. Daniel's figuring out how to remove algae from a tank. You can see the other shrimp tank on the other side. For the most part, things are doing pretty well here. I think it shouldn't be too uh, complicated to get this tank back to a really nice state. But it's one of the things that happens when you're a beginner. It can kind of get overgrown really fast and Daniel was doing the water changes, he was feeding the shrimp, but he wasn't removing the algae and it kind of exploded, so here we are. Some of it stuck to the rocks, but he's doing a good job removing a lot of it. We'll check back in in a few minutes and see what progress he makes. The shrimp are super excited about this actually. I noticed that every time there's a big change, the shrimp are so curious, they always want to see what's up. But, you know, picking up all the little different pieces out of the little crevices. We're going to try to remove as much as possible, if not all. Uh, some tips are, see those rocks? You can actually take those out and then rinse. It'll be a lot easier to just rinse them to get the algae off. It might be easier to use your hands, but using tongs like a boss. Yeah, but this will also, like, let you see a little more what you're doing. On the bright side, if you see the big tall plant in the back that is the corkscrew valsinaria, that one's growing really well. So even though we've got a little bit of an algae explosion in here, there's one plant that's super happy and doesn't really mind. Daniel's getting some of the algae off of the corkscrew valve and other crevices. For those of you that are new fish keepers, you might struggle with this same predicament. And if this happens, don't worry, don't give up. It kind of happens to all of us, at least at one point or another. It's part of fish keeping. You know, sometimes you have an algae explosion. You just fix it by cleaning it up, evaluating if there's too much waste, too much light. You know, what are the factors that are contributing to this bloom of algae and then after a while you can figure it out and kind of achieve the perfect balance. In this case this tank right here has not had that problem at all because a lot of the light gets blocked off because the window is right there by this tank and also this light which Daniel turned off, let me turn it on for a second, is actually a lot weaker so this is good for plants that don't really need high light but as you can see, there's no algae problems here. Well, on the other hand, we've got algae problems here. So two tanks right next to each other. And already, one of the di different factors is lighting. In terms of stocking, this tank is only slightly more stocked because there's about 10 shrimp in here. Here, I don't know what the count was. We've, got, we've only got a couple and some babies. So there's also slightly a bigger bio load, but for the most part, it should be pretty close. This is one gallon more of water. So this tank definitely can handle a little more shrimp than the smaller one. But it's just interesting things to kind of like, as a whole, look at what can be the cause for algae. Another thing that, right off the top of my head, that I think about is that because this tank has more shrimp, this gets fed a little more heavily than this one. So that's already also providing a lot of excess nutrients which can be contributing to the algae bloom. So that's a lot of different factors. Algae can be your foe, but it can also be your friend. Depends on what you want out of a tank. Especially if you are 
working with a fry tank, algae can be pretty helpful in that case. Random, random fishy facts. So it's been about, I don't know, was it like half an hour? Yes. And look at that. I'm pretty proud of Daniel. This is the first time he's done such big maintenance. He did a great job cleaning this up. While he was doing that, I kind of moved the jungle vet over here in this nice corner and put in the little dead bonsai that we kind of put the moss on top just so this tank has a little more crevices for the blue dreams to hide. But look at that. That looks so great. Daniel took out a little bit of water. He's dripping it back in here. I also brought in another, um, what is it called? Pathos plant. There we go. That's got some nice established roots. That's going to be in here. That is going to help with the nutrients pro problem. We're going to do also less light. So I think I'm going to put it on a six hour cycle instead of the usual eight that I would do in hopes to help. I might cover this side with a piece of paper to help as well. And I think the addition of the pathos plant to help suck up any excess nutrients should help us kind of jumpstart this tank, you know, back into its all nice goodiness. So here is an update on the tank the next day. As you can see, he did a really good job. It looks really good. There is still a little bit of algae here and there are little pieces, but it's not too big of a problem. What I did to kind of help prevent the algae from kind of having an algae explosion again is a few things. First, I lowered the amount of time the light will be on, as well as added a pothos plant with the root right here to help absorb some of the extra nutrients, which will kind of help, you know, if there's too much nutrients in the water, that will kind of help with that. And I also, added this piece of paper right here. It's a little extended because the light does come from here so to block it off a bit more. This will help block off all of the natural light from the window. For the next couple of days I'm hoping that will kind of help <clears throat> get everything in check until we figure out a nice little happy balance that will work out really well for this particular tank. I should also move my book out of the way. I completely forgot about it but this is so far how Daniel's little shrimp corner is doing he only has these two little tanks in the future we would like to give more but I think for now we're good because this is a great learning experience and he already has his hands full kind of maintaining these two so I think one of the important things when you're a beginner and this is something I struggle with myself is to not rush I know when I set up this tank I did rush and I did lose a few blue dreams that we got from Flip Aquatics because of it. But <coughs> I kind of got everything under control now. So this one's doing well, this one's doing well. We definitely need to top these off more or think of getting a lid because the evaporation is quite fast in both of these tanks. And besides the algae problem that was in here, everything is doing a okay. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing this. Um, I know a lot of you out there struggle with tanks, uh, everybody does, even if you've kept an aquarium for, you know, the first few weeks to a couple years, things always happen, even if you've been doing this for like 20 years, you can have a tank and then something will go wrong and you might have a little algae explosion and it's okay, you just fix it and, you know, play around with some things, adjust a little bit and then you can make it work. So don't give up. I know it's really disheartening. I know when Daniel looked at his algae filled tank, he didn't even want to start to try to fix it because he thought that it would be impossible to get it nice looking again. But with a little bit of encouragement, as you can see, he did a great job. It looks nice once again. The orange pumpkin shrimp are, are happy with a little bit of a change in their decor, which they like. Oh, one came out to say hi, look. They know, they know what I'm talking about. They can read my mind. But it's nice to kind of look at these little shrimp tanks and get to enjoy how pretty they are. And, I don't know, it's kind of a random video, but it's definitely something fun to share. And we can see the progress of my little shrimpies.